Hi everyone, I'm back with a different problem again. So it's an again meet, uh, lead code 215 medium level problem. The problem name is kth largest element in an array. It's a pretty easy problem, but it, it, it has been marked as medium because of the multiple methods you can solve this. So let's go the problem description. Find the kth largest element in an unsorted array. Note that it is the kth largest element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element. Okay. Let's go over the examples. So the first, first example is something like this, 3, 2, 1, 5, 6, 4, and k is equal to 2. So basically we need to return second, second largest element. So in this case, if you see manually, the first largest is 6 and second largest is 5, so you return 5. Let's go second example. You have multiple numbers and k is equal to 4. So fourth largest in this case. So the first largest is 6, second is 5, third is also 5, and then comes 4. So you need to return 4 okay so there are multiple ways to solve this problem so I'll, I'll try to explain both of them and i'll try to code for the most efficient method so the first method to solve this problem is sorting right we we all can come up with the, this solution easily so if you take the first example once you sort the array what you'll be getting is 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then you basically return the kth element in this case 2 so we return this and in second example again you sort it as 6 5 5 4 a couple of threes couple of twos and then one so you return the fourth element which is 4 it's quite simple and here the time complexity will be let me take a different color for that time complexity will be again o of n log n because you're using a sorting method right and yeah so it's not that efficient that's the reason this problem has been termed as the medium level problem because you have multiple ways to solve and there's much more efficient method as well so here n is the length of the array input array okay so to explain the second concept or to explain the second method i would like to explain a concept called as priority queue priority queue there are two types of priority queues min heap and max heap let's go a couple of examples let's say you've been given an array of numbers and you insert everything into a min heap in min heap the quality of min heap is that you'll always find the smallest element at the top so you can pop that out and the second smallest element comes at the top same way if you pop like k minus one term then k smallest will be at the top okay same goes for the max heap max heap the the feature about max heap is once you insert all the elements in the max heap you will find the largest element at the top. So in this case, if you see the 20 is the largest, so you find at that, that one at the top. Let's say you pop this out, then the structure, then the tree restructures itself, the priority queue restructures itself, and you'll find 17 at the top. So basically, if you want always to grab the top elements, then you need to go for the max heap. If you want to grab the min element, then you want to go for the min heap, okay? So let's apply this concept in our, on our solution, and then let's see how it works out, okay? So in this case, we'll be taking priority queue. Especially the max heap. Okay, so let's uh, take an example and apply that. So if you take the input, uh, the first input, the input has three, two, one, five, six, and four. So as and when you keep in entering these elements into your max heap, so initially our max heap will be empty okay so this is how i'll try to so here will be the top element and rest of the elements here so initially it's empty so what you'll do is you'll insert an element three it will go to the top then once you insert two it will go to the bottom because three is not the i mean two is not greater than three uh, so similarly if you insert one it will go here then if you insert five three comes here and your tops become five and once you insert, insert six the tops become 6 and 5 comes to the bottom, 4 directly comes to the bottom. So if you see now, the topmost element is the first largest element. So if k is equal to 1, then we'll return as 6, okay? So once you return, basically you pop that out. So now the next largest element comes to the top, 5. So k is equal to 2, we return 5. That's our second largest element, okay? So the logic is quite simple you got to know only about the max heap or the min heap and how to use in your particular language and so here the time complexity is o of n log k 
right? Because for sorting, it takes log k times and you do this n times. So that gives us n log k. So it is much efficient when compared to our regular sorting method, which is n log n. So it's also a right way to solve sorting. I'm not saying that it's a wrong way to solve, but again, the time complexity is much better if you use priority queue. So yeah, I'll be quickly writing the code for this. And if you guys want to connect with me, I've started a Facebook page by name TechyTux. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel as well. And if you have any concerns or questions regarding the solution, or if you guys want me to solve any particular problem, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help. And yeah, do watch the video till the end for the code as well. Keep learning every day. Thank you. Hi guys, as I've already explained the logic for the problem, get largest element in an array, I quickly write the code for this problem. And before that, as you can see, it's a medium level problem and it's been asked in multiple fang level companies, which is Apple, it's been asked in Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Google. So yeah, it's one of the pretty important problem. So yeah, as you've already seen, I've explained you the concept of priority queue. So we'll be using that to solve this problem. So let's define our priority queue. So by default, it's always max heap in C++, which means greatest element will be at the top. Okay. Now we need to basically insert all the elements. So we'll do auto A in so I have inserted all the elements. Now I need to pop all the K minus one terms and then the top element will be the kth largest element. So it's quite simple code. If you know the concept of periodic queue. That's it. Let's submit and see if it works fine. Yes, it works fine. It takes like eight milliseconds runtime and it uses pretty less memory as well. I've already explained the time complexity would be O of n log k so this is much better when compared to our o of n log n when uh, which is of sorting time complexity yeah please do solve this problem and do let me know if you have any concerns regarding this and keep learning every day do like share and subscribe thank you